Before we explain what scoliosis is, let us first explain the spine. The spine is typically made up of 24 individual bones called vertebrae that are separated by discs. The discs allow the spine to be flexible. There are three regions of the spine. The first is the neck region, which has seven cervical vertebrae. The second is the chest region, which has 12 thoracic vertebrae. And the third is the lower back region, which has five lumbar vertebrae. In addition, there are five fused vertebrae below the lumbar spine that make up the sacrum, commonly referred to as the tailbone. More importantly, the spine protects the spinal cord and provides a base of support for the head and internal organs. It is a functional link between your arms and legs and provides the mobility for your trunk. Now that you have an understanding of the anatomy of the spine, your first question will be, what is scoliosis? Well, viewed from the front or back, the spinal column is straight. When scoliosis is present, you will see a sideways shift of the spine to the right or to the left. Approximately 10% of the population has small curves, less than 10 degrees, which are of no consequence to function or health. This condition is called spinal asymmetry. An x-ray is done to diagnose scoliosis. The curve of the spine is measured in degrees, as an angle, and this is called a Cobb angle. Scoliosis is defined as a curve greater than 10 degrees. It is most common in the thoracic and lumbar regions of the spine, and can involve one or both of these regions. The most common curve pattern, pictured here, is a right thoracic curve. What causes scoliosis? Scoliosis can arise from a number of underlying conditions, but the most common form is idiopathic, which means cause unknown. Scientists have identified that idiopathic scoliosis is a genetic condition. This means that it is possible that your family members may also have scoliosis. There's some evidence to suggest that uneven growth rates between the front anterior portion of the vertebrae and the back posterior portion of the vertebrae may be one cause of scoliosis. That is why scoliosis is often identified when children go through their adolescent growth spurt. So don't be afraid that you're causing yourself to have scoliosis. Scoliosis cannot arise from wearing a heavy backpack, sleeping on an uncomfortable mattress, not drinking enough milk, or a bad posture. It is even recommended that you stay active to improve your overall health. There are no exercises, sports, or activities that have been scientifically proven to make your scoliosis better or worse. How common is scoliosis? Idiopathic scoliosis is thought to be present in 2 to 3% of adolescents. One in 500 of these will require active treatment, and only one in 1,000 have curves that progress to the degree where surgery is recommended. Now that you have a good understanding of what scoliosis is, let's move on to diagnosing scoliosis.